Hi, this is Carl. And what I'm going to do in this video is to give you a very simplified explanation as regards when you must use either of the question words que, cual, or cuales in Spanish, in any question in Spanish. And the explanation which I'm going to give you isn't based on any explanation which I've read in another text book or grammar book, but it's one which I've come up with on the basis of examples which I've seen in the Spanish language and which I've tried to come up with after listening to uh, the many questions and many doubts and queries which students of my own have had in relation to when one question word is used rather than either of the other two question words. So as I say, here is a, a simplified explanation of when to use one rather than the other. And then I hope that after I've concluded this particular explanation, anyone who is learning Spanish out there is more clear as regards when one question is used rather than another question would. Now, if in a question you can replace the word which with which one, if the implied meaning is which one, then in Spanish you will use cual. For example, um, which do you want in the sense of which one do you want will be cual quieres. And similarly, if the implied meaning of which is which ones, then in Spanish you will use the plural form of cual, which is cuales. Which ones do you want? Cuales quieren. And note also that the qu sound in Spanish is represented by cu rather than qu, which is given as the sound of the consonant, the English consonant k. So therefore, cual spelled c-u-a-l and cuales spelled c-u-a-l-e-s. Where the question word k is concerned. If in English, for example, you want to ask which person are you referring to, then you might expect qual because in English we're saying which. However, in Spanish you must use the, the word que because in the English language the question word is immediately succeeded by a noun. And where that is the case in English, you must always use que in Spanish. So, for example, as I've just said, which person are you referring to? A que persona te refieres, as opposed to a cual persona te refieres. Similarly, if you're asking for an explanation of something which is happening, or you're asking for a definition of a word, then you will use the question word que. For example, what does this word mean? Que significa esta palabra? You're asking for a definition. Um, what do the letters UNESCO stand for? ¿Qué significan las siglas UNESCO? If, however, you're asking a question, let's say, for example, uh, what is the right answer? You will use cual because you have a selection of possible answers which the right answer could be. ¿Cuál es la opción correcta? Which is the correct option? Obviously, as well, you can say in English either what is the correct option, but more properly, which is the correct option or which is the right answer. ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? Is the Spanish word which is the correct answer. We might say or we might ask in English what are the symptoms as opposed to which are the symptoms, although which are the symptoms is grammatically correct. We will tend to say as speakers of English what are the symptoms. But again, because we have a noun reference in English, i.e. symptoms, and we're implying that we're after um, the answer to, um, let's say, one of many symptoms, we're trying to establish from the many symptoms which it could be one of those symptoms. We have a choice of uh, symptoms, symptoms being the noun in that particular example. So again, we use qual or qualis, uh, which is the symptom. ¿Cuál es el síntoma? Uh, what are the symptoms? ¿Cuáles son los síntomas? Because obviously there are many symptoms and we're just after a selection of those symptoms which it could be. Now what I'll do is in the next part of this video I will give you a list of questions in English, first of all in English, which you must then translate into Spanish deciding whether qué, cuál or cuáles must be used. So I'll do that, I'll give the question word in English uh, the full question word in English and then the 
relevant translation into Spanish after you've had time to think about it. And then afterwards, I'll give you an explanation as to why any particular question word or the most appropriate question word is being used in the example. So I'll join you back in part two.